Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Aski and we are going to be taking a look at how to build a catapult in Medieval Engineers. To start out we're going to build a frame. This isn't actually necessary to build a functioning catapult, but we want to be able to move it so we need somewhere to mount the wheels later on. Now size wise the most important thing is that it is at least 12 blocks wide. To measure this you can take a wooden block tool and using the smallest size measure out 12 blocks. The length of the other sides is really up to you, however in this situation bigger isn't really better as the power of the throw comes from the torsion spring and not the length of the arm. Now we have our basic frame and you can add a little bit of flair if you like to make it look more interesting and then we need to start with the throwing mechanism. So at the front section we're going to mount a torsion spring, now this is the reason we needed the frame to be at least 12 blocks wide. You want to mount it so that the small piece of wood in the middle sticks out and points away from the rest of the catapult. Next we can build the rest of the arm. For now just try to judge what looks right. You can come back later and change the length of the arm if needed. After this we need to attach the spoon to hold the projectiles and you want to mount it facing downwards. Then on the other side we're going to attach a rope ending. And that is our throwing arm complete. Now we need to build the winch mechanism that will draw the throwing arm back. So we go around to the rear of the frame and attach two catch blocks on either side so that they line up when you make a pole between them. The point of the catch blocks is that a small piece of timber inside of them can rotate and in turn this will rotate anything that is attached to them. By adding turn wheel crosses on either side we can now rotate the pole in the middle. Next we need to remove four blocks from the middle of the pole and add in a rope drum. Now by turning the handles on either side the rope drum will also rotate. To turn the handles press T or to turn them in the other direction press T while holding shift. This is our basic catapult complete, it will now fire projectiles so let's take a look at that. First we press T on the drum and then T again on the rope latch, this creates a length of rope between the two. Come over to the handle and wind the arm down, place a projectile in the spoon making sure that you press J before dropping it as this makes it a physics object. Press T once more on the drum or the rope ending to cut the rope and let it fly. Now we can make adjustments to improve the catapult. First the arm length can be changed, simply remove the spoon and then add or take away blocks as needed. A good way to judge if you have everything in the right position is that the spoon will be fairly easy to load when it's pulled back and the projectiles won't fall out. Now the arm also swings too far forward, this makes it take more time for us to winch it back and can cause problems with the throw. To fix this we're going to wind the arm down and add an arch of wood to our frame. This will stop the arm from travelling forward as it reaches the peak of its throw and should improve the throw and make it more reliable. Next we can't reposition the catapult to aim it at another part of the building so we need to add some wheels. To do this we're going to use the same technique we used before with the catch blocks but this time we're going to add on wheels instead of handles. So make a copy of the catapult using control C and then move it about until you find a good place to put it down that will allow you to get underneath it and install the catch blocks. Line them up and place poles from one side to the other. Be careful that the poles don't run inside the catch blocks, just up against them. If they run into the blocks they can cause the physics to go a little bit mad. Add one more bit of wood to the outside before attaching the wheels and rotate them around until they clip into the correct spot. Then we can copy the entire creation using Control c press J to make it a physics object and then drop it wherever we like. Now we can push and manoeuvre the catapult to line up the perfect shot. Check everything is in working order and then you can begin to customise your creation. I've covered the outside of this one in weights and added some diagonal wood to the front. Now you've got a fully functioning custom catapult to lay waste to any structures you can think of. Leave any construction tips below in the comments and let us know how your catapult goes. Don't forget to check out the Medieval Engineers wiki over at medievalengineers.gamepedia.com which you can also find linked in the description below. Leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to keep an eye out for more Medieval Engineers videos coming soon. For now though I've been Aski and thank you for watching.